Okay, let's say you're flying a plane at night, climbing into the clouds. Everything smooth, engine sounds perfect. You turn, climb, and then the engine quits. You're in IMC at 500 feet, and it's not a malfunction. The engine's fine, fuel is fine. You just forgot one switch. Car heat off. This is a story of November 321 Gulf Delta, a training flight. A great instructor, but a mistake that destroyed a perfectly good aircraft. It's December 21st, 2022. Port of South Louisiana Executive Airport. Grumman American AA-5B. Tail number November 321 Gulf Delta. Two pilots. Instructor, 2,300 hours. Student, 95 hours total. The plan? Night flight, shoot some instrument approaches. Weather is calm, fuel 50 gallons. The instructor, calm and confident. The student, nervous but ready. They pre flight, they run up the engine, everything checks out. They taxi to runway 35 and get their IFR clearance. They take off into the night. Climb power is set. Temperature is normal, fuel flow is normal, everything looks fine. Until 500 feet, suddenly the engine sputters, then it coughs, then power drops. Instructor grabs the controls, executes a 180 degree turn back towards the runway. The altitude 380 feet above ground level, cloud base just above. They break out of the clouds. They go for the taxiway. They almost make it, but just a few feet off the ground. The left wing strikes the dirt. Nose gear collapses. The airplane skids to a stop. Nobody's hurt. The airplane... K.O. Not so lucky. The instructor shuts everything down like a pro. Fuel valve off. Magnetos off. Master switch off. Checklist completion 100%. The FAA shows up expecting something serious, but this is when things get weird. The engine works perfectly. The fuel is clean, the spark is strong, magnetos are fully functional. They rotate the crankshaft, compression is excellent. No mechanical faults, nothing's broken, no evidence of mechanical failure. So what caused the power loss? The air. Turns out, conditions were perfect for something called carburetor icing. Cold, moist air combined with partial throttle is a recipe for ice building up in the carburetor. The ice blocks airflow and rubs the engine of power. The FAA literally has a chart for this. And that night, the temperature and the dew point were right inside the danger zone. So what prevents carburetor icing? Carb heat. A switch that routes warm air into the carburetor melting the ice. It was never turned on. This wasn't pilot error in a dramatic sense. They did a lot right. They stayed calm. They made a good emergency decision. But carb heat was missed and it nearly cost them their lives. So remember if it's cold and humid and you're reducing power, use carb heat, carb heat, carb heat, carb heat. The engine didn't fail, the checklist did. Want more short breakdowns of real life aviation incidents? Hit like and subscribe. No dive down in the comments and tell me if you ever forgot carburetor heat.